What's up, GearHeads? It's Griffin Steinfeld here. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about lightweight flywheels and the benefits they have. The reason people choose lightweight flywheels over a factory weight flywheel is to decrease rotational mass on the flywheel. This piece bolts directly to the flywheel, or to the crankshaft, I'm sorry, and um, you know the clutch engages this pad right here. This is what drives the car, is when the clutch hits this, it creates friction, and off you go. So lightweight flywheels help in the sense of letting the engine rev more freely. It becomes snappier due to less rotational mass. And Newton's law states an object in motion will stay in motion unless otherwise acted upon. And what that means in relationship to this conversation is that when you're going through the gears, saying first, second, third, upshifting, every time you drop that clutch into that next gear, the transmission is trying to slow the engine down and accelerate the car until those forces match and you accelerate. So with a lighter flywheel, you may have the tendency of actually you know, slowing the motor down too fast to where it'll feel like the car doesn't hit in that next gear as hard as it did. With a stock or heavier flywheel, it's gonna be harder for the transmission to slow the engine down when you let that clutch go into the next gear. So, say for drag racing purposes, I would probably stick with a stock weight flywheel, if not, you know, maybe a little heavier one if they do make one for your application. But if you're road racing the car or driving in the canyons, I would definitely say go a lightweight flywheel because it definitely helps when you downshift rev match, um, the engine does zing up a little quicker, and, um, you know, it also frees up a couple horsepower. Now, as far as the adding horsepower goes, it's not that the engine is producing more horsepower, it just takes less of that power to turn this flywheel. Now, a stock clutch and flywheel assembly on my car, for example, I think weighs about, oh, 50, 52 pounds, um, you know, it could be mistaken, but it weighs about that much. Now, with this lightweight flywheel and new clutch, I'm shaving almost half that weight off with this, so um, it's going to be much rev happier, it's going to... Um, downshift much nicer but it might not be faster on the drag strip so it's kind of give and take with how you drive your car or, or where you drive it but if you want fast rev happy motors lightweight flywheel is the way to go if your car is primarily for drag racing i would probably keep the stock weight flywheel in it so hope this helps i know there's a lot of talk back and forth with should i go lightweight should i not um, so I hope this clears up a little bit of that, and uh, if you have any questions, drop me, uh, drop me a question down in the comments section, and uh, we'll chat, alright? Stay, stay safe, guys.